Hi everyone, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we are here for part two in our spring Easter wreath tutorial and uh, we're going to learn how to crochet this Easter bunny rabbit in the middle of the wreath. Um, Please remember to like, share, and subscribe so that you can be entered in the giveaways that are coming up. I've got a turtle giveaway. I think I'm going to do a rabbit giveaway. So um, every time that you like, share, um, like, and share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, you get entered in those giveaways. Um, and that includes the people who have already subscribed to my YouTube channel. Um, and I was just buffering, so I hope you heard all that. But yeah, so my giveaway is going to include um, the people who have already subscribed as well. Um, but yeah, any of my recent live videos, if you've um, shared, liked, and subscribed, then you will be entered in the giveaways. But so we're going to make this bunny today. How cute is that? And um, I'm going to show you how to do it. So remember to hit that notification button if you're on YouTube um, and subscribe. And if you're on Facebook, there's also a notification button so that you can get my live videos and watch them. So um, to make this bunny, I use um, a cotton yarn. If you want to use the exact yarn that I used, I used a cotton yarn. I think it was peaches and cream and I got it at Walmart. I think this, this huge thing... And this could probably make um, a couple different bunnies. I think it was like nine or ten dollars. Um, so yeah, that was really cool. Um, but you can make any color that you want. I'm actually going to be using um, a blue today just to show you how to make the bunny. Um, you're also going to need a 4.5 millimeter hook or a size G. You're going to need a pair of scissors. <laughs> that aren't attached to 50 million different things on my magnetic thing and you're going to need a darning needle okay and in case you've never watched my videos and don't know what one looks like this is what it looks like it's a big needle they actually have bigger ones than this I need to get some I've lost a lot of mine so um I've got this rabbit since I can't fast forward and rewind because I'm on Facebook live um I've got this rabbit done in sections um so hopefully the video won't be too long but you'll still learn how to make it so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and move my camera down. Sorry about that. And um, I was already playing around, so I had a slip knot in here. Let's go ahead. Oh, and you will need a stitch marker as well. Um, and if you don't have a stitch marker, this is what these look like. Um, if you don't have one of these, you can just use a piece of yarn, but make sure it's a different color than what you're using so you don't get confused, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna start with is the body of our, um, I'm sorry, is the head of our bunny. So let me just raise this up again so you can see it. So you're gonna be working on this right here. And I'm gonna show you how to stuff it and everything, okay? So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're going to chain, so sorry I'm moving my camera so much, but as I'm going back and forth from the wreath to this is getting a little wonky. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, hi Tyra, is chain four. One, two, three, and four. And then you're going to slip a stitch. You're going to slip stitch the first chain from the hook. So we're making our little circle with a chain of four, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to do six single crochets. Thank you, Katie. My cat, I gave my cats a bath, so my hands are like tore up. So please excuse me. Uh, they tried to kill me. Okay, so we're going to do six single crochets in the middle of our circle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, then we're going to tighten that up and we're going to go into the first single crochet that we did. Now, I think I should do some other video for the egg, but I just want to remind you, when you're making this, it can become confusing because some of your middle circle can still be out at the top. So you want to count back and make sure that you are starting in your first single crochet. So to do that is you count back six. So if we're starting with this right here, which is what we want to do, where our hook, our um, 
our hoop is here. You want to count one, two, three, four, five, and six. So technically, I'm going to be going all the way over here, okay? Because that six didn't cover the entirety of our circle, and that's okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to go right into here, and I'm going to do two single crochets. And I'm not going to put my stitch marker in yet because we're going to count, okay? So I'm not slip stitching to close. I'm working in the round. So in this one right here, I'm going to put two single crochets. And since we did six and we need two single crochets in each one round, since we did six and we need two in each one around, we're going to need 12. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So that's two single crochets all the way around working in the round, okay? So let's count back and make sure that we have twelve. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, okay? Remember, you want to count that last stitch, okay? So now what we're going to do is we are going to use our stitch marker. Remember, you can use a piece of yarn if you don't have one of these little plastic doohickeys, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to work one single crochet and two single crochet. So we're going to go right into our next stitch. And we're going to, remember, we're not slip stitching, we're working in the round, so we're just going to go right on. So we're going to go into our next one and do one single crochet. And then we're going to go into our next and do two single crochets. And then into our next one, then in our next two. And then our next one, and then in our next two. And you just keep doing that all the way around for a count of 18. And if you counted correctly, you will end on two single crochets. If you count it correctly, you will end on two single crochets right where your stitch marker is. You remove your stitch marker, and then you put two single crochets in this last one here, and that should give you a count of 18. So now you want to put your stitch marker right back, and now we're going to move on. And so now we're going to do two single crochets. So you're going to go one single crochet and two single crochets, so one in each. And in the next one, you're going to do two, one and two. So again, you're going to do one single crochet in this one, the next one, one single crochet, and then the next two single crochets. And you're going to keep doing that all the way around for a stitch count of 24. So again, one, one, and two, one, one, and two. Then one, And two, and one, one, and then 
finally, in this last one, remove your stitch mark marker and put your final two right in here in the same place here, same stitch. Okay, and then we put our stitch marker back. And again, that was a count of 24. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do three and two, okay? That's the sequence for this one. So we're going to go to our next stitch, go to our next stitch, we're going to do one. And then the next, we'll do another one. And the next, another one. That's three. And in the next one, we're going to put two single crochets into the same space. And then again, you just keep doing that all the way around. One single crochet, two single crochets, three single crochets, and in this, this one, two single crochets. So three and two all the way around for a stitch count of 30. One, two, three, and then two. And all you're doing now is increasing. Every time you put two stitches in one space, you're increasing. Okay? So now we're going to remove the stitch marker and put in our two. Normally when I'm doing this, that stitch marker is in my mouth <laughs> then, or, you know, like this so that I can hold it. Okay. And that's the way that is. And that was again, a stitch count of 30. And so now we're going to move on and we're going to do four and two. Okay. So we're going to do four single crochets, one, two, three, and four, and then in the next one, two in the same spot. And again, four single crochets, one, two, three, four, and in the next one, two single crochets. You're going to do that all the way around for a stitch count of 36. We're just going to keep doing that all the way around for again a stitch count of 36. <laughs> I'm glad Katie it's not just me. <laughs> I keep having to lay it down on the desk. Okay. Goodness. And again if you're on YouTube and you've never seen my videos and you hear me talking to people it's because I'm on Facebook Live. So. I'm not talking to imaginary people yet. <laughs> I do have uh, three teenagers. Well, one's an adult technically, but uh, that'll make you talk to yourself. Okay, so in this last one, we're going to do our two. And then we're going to put our stitch marker back. And... Um, my hands are already numb. I don't know what the deal is. I guess I've just been crocheting too much and it's causing my corporal tunnel. Causing my corporal tunnel. Okay, so that's 36. So now we're going to move on to five and two. Okay, so one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four, and then five. And in the next one, two. 
and you're going to keep doing that all the way around. So the next one, one, next one, two, next one, three, next one, four, next one, five, and the next one, two single crochets in the same spot. You're going to do that all the way around for a stitch count of 42. So it's five and two. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry about the buffering. And then two. One and two. Just keep doing that all the way around. Three, four, and five, and then two. And we're finally at this last one here. So we're just going to remove our stitch marker just like we've been doing. And then we're going to put two. For this rabbit that I created, this pattern, on every ending you will either be um, increasing or decreasing unless you're in your single crochet. So that might help you along. Okay, so that was five and two with a stitch count of 42. So now we're going to do six and two. This will be our last increase round. And I'm going to shake out my hands a little bit because they are totally numb. Like I can't even feel them. <laughs> I've been um, doing like a lot of rabbits and a lot of different things. I'm working on some Mandela hoops now is where you make Mandela's and you attach them to a hula hoop and I put them in my garden. They're so beautiful. By the way, if you would like a video of how to make that, let me know and um, I'll do it. Okay, so moving on with our increases. Again, we're going to do six and two. So now we're going to do six single crochets. One, two, three four, five, and six. And then next one, two, in the same spot, in the same stitch there, two single crochets. And again, six, one, two, three, four, five, and six and in the next one two single crochets and you're just going to keep doing that all along six and two for a stitch count of 48 so moving along I do this five and six and then two in the next and one two three four five and six next and a six again one two three four five and six by the way if you don't know how to do any single crochets or anything that we're doing please feel free to look for my beginners tutorial on YouTube or on Facebook and um, yeah you can learn how to do all this good stuff so we're on our final six here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And remember in this last one, we're always going to end with two. Hi, Isabel. We're going to end with two right here. 
then we're going to put our stitch marker back there. Okay, so this is the way it looks so far, and we've gone up to six, um, six single crochets and two single crochets with a stitch count of 48. And now we're going to do eight rounds of single crochets, okay? So that's eight rounds of 48 single crochets. Now, if you don't wanna count and you just wanna watch TV or do whatever you're doing, you can just keep going around, take your stitch marker out, put it back in, go around again, stitch marker out, put it back in, over and over again until you get eight. Otherwise, like I said before, you can put a sign on your forehead that says, do not talk to me or disturb me, and you can single crochet 384 single crochets and that is how many that you're going to need. I did the math for you. Um, okay. So that's what you need now is eight rounds of single crochets or 384 single crochets. So I already have that done. So if you want to pause this video later and you're not on live, and go on you can but I'm going to show you how to do after you do all those rounds what it looks like and how to finish up once you get done with all of those rounds of eight this is what you're left with okay this is the way it looks there's some little indentions here and it really doesn't look like a head yet but it will by the time that we're done now I'm going to be using a yarn stitch marker so I can show you how to do that. I'm using yarn. But this is what it looks like remember when we just finished and this is what it looks like after we do eight rounds of 48 okay so let's go ahead and get started on how to finish our head here whoa my wreath is trying to fall on me okay so after you do those eight rounds what you're gonna do are decreases now so now what you're going to do, I've got my stitch marker where it needs to be. So now what you're going to do is you're going to do six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to do two, two. together you're going to two together and this is going to be our decrease so we're going to go right into the next stitch yarn over pull up go right into the next stitch yarn over pull up and you are not going through and you're left with three loops on your hook and you're going to go through all three and that is how you do two together or a decrease whichever you want to call it i'm going to call it crocheting two together so then you're going to keep doing that all the way around. You're going to be doing six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and then two together. Go right in, pull up your yarn. Don't go through. Go to the next one, go right in, pull up your yarn, and then go through all three, okay? You're going to keep doing that all the way around. You're going to keep doing that all the way around. And when you're done, you should have a stitch count of 42. Okay. And this yarn, for some reason, has a... Ah! You went sideways. I'm so sorry. Hope that didn't make you guys sick. My uh, camera totally went bonkers okay so now we're going to do two together and six and two together and I forgot to mention at the beginning of this that you are going to need some kind of stuffing to stuff your um, rabbit with. Um, I will put that in the description. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 
two, three, four, five, and six, and then two together, and one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then like I said before, when you're working um, in this, when you're working towards your stitch marker, you're either going to be doing two in this or you're going to be decreasing two, two together. So I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to know I'm on my last two now and I'm going to put these together. So I'm going to go right in, pull up my yarn, go right into the next, pull up my yarn and go through all three. Okay. And then we just simply put our stitch marker right back there so we know where to go okay and now what we're going to do you guessed it we're going to do five single crochets and two together with a stitch count of 36 at the end okay so again five single crochets one two three four and five and then again two together okay and you're gonna keep doing that all along sorry I'm noticing that my lighting is a little messed up okay so one two now, if you notice, as you're working up here, and we're on the five single crochets and then two together. Um, hi, Isabel. I'm sorry. I just saw your question. It's If you're still on here, it's a rabbit. We're doing the rabbit from the wreath. Um, but anyway, as you're going along here, you're going to notice that... Um, and I'm going to go right back there so I'll know exactly where I'm at. But you're going to notice as you go along that as you do, as you do your decreases, um, that your your stitches get a little bit further apart. That's okay. That's normal. That's what happens with crochet. But you do want to kind of keep them pretty tight, as tight as you can. Um, but like I said, there still will be some gapping. So um, yeah. So let's go on for five single crochets. And you may be a loose, um, and then you're going to do your decrease, so two together. You may be a loose crocheter, but when you're doing something like a stuffed animal or amigurumi, you need to make sure that you try to crochet as tight as you possibly can. Um, because you don't want the stuffing to be able to see through, but you know, you will still see it a little bit. There's two, three, so I'm going to work a little faster here instead of running my mouth two together and five one two three four and five and then two together I'm just gonna keep going all the way around until our stitch marker Two together and you see how that right there it looks a little gappy just try to pull it as tight as you can three four and five now I see that I have two left and I know I need to do those two together okay so I need to go in pull up go in pull up and then pull them both together and then put my stitch marker back and now I should have a count of 36. Okay. 
And the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to do four single crochets and two together. Okay. And this is what it looks like so far. You're going to see some places caving in. That's okay. We're going to fill it all in with stuffing and it's going to make a great head. Okay, Holly, I definitely will. And I'm so sorry about my camera. I'm having some difficulties today trying to get the lighting right. It's very like cloudy here in East Tennessee. It's going from uh, really cloudy to the sun coming out. And so it's like creating shadows on my camera. So I'm so sorry about that. Okay, so now we're gonna do four single crochets and two together. So we're gonna do one, two, three, and four, and then two together. And then one, two, three, and four, and two together. Two, three, and four, and two together. And as you're going around, after you do your four single crochets and your two together, you should have a stitch count of 30. So one, two, three, and four, and then two together. One, and two, and three, and four, and two together. And one, and two, and three, and four. And now we're on our last two, so we can pull out our stitch marker. And do our last two together, going in, pulling up our yarn, going into the next, pulling up our yarn, and going through all three. Okay. And that should leave us with a count of 30. Okay. And now moving on, now we're going to do three and two. Okay. So all the way around, we're going to do one single crochet. And the next one another single crochet and the next another single crochet and then two together and as you notice we're just getting smaller and smaller as we go along one two three and then two together and at the end of this round you should have a stitch count of 24. again one two and three and then two together and then one and two and three and two together <laughs> okay just moving along here And now we're on our last two, so we're going to put our last two together. So go in, pull up your yarn, don't go through anything, go to the next, pull up your yarn, don't go through anything, go through all three. Okay? And like I said, that should leave you with a stitch count of 24. Okay, so I'm going to put my stitch marker back. And this is what it should look like so far. And now I'm going to... Shake my hands again. Goodness. I don't, I'm so sorry. I don't know what my problem is today. My hands are just really hurting. Um, but yeah. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do two single crochets and two together. So we're going to do one single crochet. 
and two single crochets and I kind of loop that around so and so it doesn't become confusing I'm gonna pull it out so there's two single crochets and then we're gonna do two together so there we go just like that and then we're gonna go into our next one do another single crochet and our next do another single crochet and then two together and you're just going to keep doing that all the way around. Two single crochets and then two together. And you should have a stitch count of 18. And like I said, as you go up, it's going to get harder and harder um, to keep those, you know, kind of tight. So just try your best um, to keep them as tight as you can. One. And then two. And two together. And then see somewhere along the way I messed up because um, I just did two together and now I'm on two so what I'm gonna do I'm sorry guys um, but this is what happens it, it happens to all of us but because I have my stitch marker here and this is a great way to show you if you miscount I'm gonna go right back to where I where my stitch marker is okay so I'm gonna go right back there and that way I know exactly where I need to start and I don't need to frog the whole thing and start over again. Okay, so that's that's the importance of the stitch marker again. So two and two. So I'm going to do two single crochet and two together. And then two single crochet and two together. Two single crochet. And two together, two single crochet, two together. I was doing that all the way around. And now I know I'm at my last one, and this time I did it correctly. Yay! <laughs> and now I'm doing my last decrease, my two together. So I'm going to pull in, pull up, pull in, pull up, go through all three. Okay? And now you should have, again, a stitch count of 18. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to do another decrease. You guessed it. <laughs> and now we're going to do one and two. And at the end of this, you should have a count of 12. So that means we're going to do one single crochet and then two together. Okay. So one single crochet and two together. Try to keep your stitches as tight as you can. It's like. Like I said, it will be a little difficult. It will be a little difficult. I don't know but again, we're just going around with one single crochet all the way around and then two together. You should have a stitch count of 12. One, two together, and then one. And now we're on our last two. It becomes to, a little bit hard to work in here, so I just put my finger in between. And our last two together here. A stitch count of 12. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put our stitch marker back. Now we're going to stuff the head. Okay, So I'm going to pull this yarn out really far so it doesn't get lost in what I'm doing and I can find it easily. I'm going to leave my stitch marker in and I'm going to make sure that it's out of my circle. Okay, I'm not my circle, the head. 
going to make sure it's out of there. And now I'm going to start stuffing the inside of my rabbit head. <laughs> so I'm going to take my stuffing and just like I showed you on the egg, but in case you didn't watch it, um, if you buy stuffing or whatever you do, um, it's going to be like this. Even if you take it out of a pillow that you already have or something, you're going to need to really tear it up, get it all fluffy. And then you're going to simply start stuffing inside the head. Sorry, I had to take that off camera because it was really big. <laughs> A lot of stuffing came out. Okay, so you're just going to keep putting your stuffing in. And I want you to take both of your index fingers and press it down and turn your work just like this so that all the stuffing is getting down to the bottom and around your sides. Okay, so just like that. And that's going to create the roundness that you need. When you're doing stuffed crochet, amargami, whatever you want to call it, you're um you're molding this with your hands you know when they make bears and stuff in machines they're using machines but you're using your hands to make these so it's important that you mold this correctly with your hands that you put enough stuffing in it okay so again you're just going to keep using your index fingers to push down so i'm pushing down and i'm going to the side just like this all the way around to create the roundness that I need okay so when you if you've never done a stuffed animal and this is the first time you're doing one um, you'll get a feel for it you'll feel when it's full enough you'll 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 get it no worries okay but I'm gonna keep going all the way around just like this and I can tell it still needs a little bit more because when I push my hand in, I can go all the way through. I want to make sure that it's not that dense. Okay. Maybe that'll be a little helpful there. So I'm just tearing this stuff up. And again, I'm just working this around just like this. This is what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And I think I want to put a little bit more, okay? So, just like that. And actually, as I'm feeling, I still think it needs a little bit more stuffing. So I'm going to keep moving around. Like I said, it's just, it's a feel process. You know, with your hands, you want to keep pressing, making sure that you get it as full as you can. And I'm going to put a little bit more here at the top. Um, but, you know, tearing that stuffing up is what's going to cause it to not be lumpy on the inside. And when you buy this stuffing, it is kind of flat. If you take it out of a pillow, out of another stuffed animal, it becomes flat. So you want to make sure that you pull it apart really well before you put it in here. Okay, so I want to fill it to where it's almost coming out. I want to fill it to where it's almost coming out the top. Okay, now we've filled it as far as I think it needs to be filled for me. So I'm going to pick up where I, you know, left this hanging and I'm going to pull it back. It got a little twisted on me, but that's okay because I pulled enough of it out to where it wouldn't. Um, and this yarn has gotten all kinds of stringy on me. I don't know what is going on there. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we've got it all stuffed and we're going to get this closed up now. So now what we're going to do is decreases all the way around. That means we're not going to do any single crochets. We're going to go all around with decreases, okay? So I'm simply going to lay this flat. I'm going to lay this flat like this. And I'm going to go into my next stitch. I'm going to pull through, go to my next one, pull through. And I'm going to go through all three, just like that. And I'm going to kind of try to pull to keep it kind of tight. 
So again, another decrease. And another decrease. So I'm just doing two together all the way around till I get to my stitch marker. Okay, and then when I get to these last two, I'm gonna pull out my stitch marker. And as you can tell, even with me crocheting tightly, you can still see some little loops, but this is gonna be the bottom of our rabbit head, so it's not gonna to be too, too bad, but you still wanna to try to keep them tight. So after you did the decreases all the way around, you're gonna have six. I'm gonna take my stitch marker out and not use it anymore, because now what I'm gonna do is just slip stitch six, and that'll be it, okay? So I know I need to go around. There's one slip stitch, so I'm just going in and pulling through. There's another one, that's two. And that's three, that's four, that's five, and that's six, okay? And as you can see, that closed it up just perfectly, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, cut off. So just cut off your yarn, and then you're just going to single crochet and pull up, okay? And look at there, you've made a rabbit head. And uh, ah, I'm trying to pull my camera up and having issues with it here. <laughs> but that's uh, that's what the head looks like, just like that. Okay. Um, like I said before, you can take your hands if if you want to. Um, sorry about buttering. You can take your hand if you want to and uh, kind of mold it, make it look a little different. Um, that's really the way it's supposed to look, okay? So we're done with the head now. So now we're gonna move on to the body of the, um, the body of the rabbit. This is not um, that large. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a slip knot and we're going to go back to our, well, I was going to use a stitch marker, but I guess I'm just going to use the yarn. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is, again, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Slip stitch to close at the first one there. And then we're going to do six single crochets in the circle. So one, two, three. Four, five, and six. You're going to close that up. And remember, like I told you before, for the head, we're going to count backwards to make sure that we get to where we need to go. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we need to go all the way over here, okay? Because part of this over here is the circle. So let's, and that's okay. Okay, so we're going to go right in there. And instead of doing a slip stitch, if I can get in there, you're going to do two single crochets, one and two. And this starts just like the head did, okay? And the next one, we're going to do two, three and four. And in the next one, we're going to do two. And we need 12, so five and six. And then in the next one, two, seven, and eight. And in the next one, two, nine, and 10. And in the next one, two, 11, and 12, okay? Because we're working in the round, we didn't have to slip stitch or anything. We're just working around and round, okay? But now that we've got our 12, now we can we put our stitch marker in so that we don't get confused or anything. And similar to the rabbit, we're just going to, I mean the rabbit, <laughs> similar to the head, we're going to be working in increases, okay? Um, so now we've got our two in each, so we should have a stitch count of 12. 
And now we're going to do one and two. So we're going to do go right into our next space and do one single crochet and into the next two. And to the next one. And into the next two single crochets in the same space. So it's one single crochet and then two single crochets in the in the um in the stitch. So it's one and then two. And that's a total of 18. So you should have a total of 18 at the end of this one. Okay. And like I said before, every time you get to this, you should either be decreasing or increasing. So we're going to pull that out and we're going to put two in our last one for 18. Just like that. And I put my stitch marker back. I can get it in there. Okay. And now we're going to be doing two and two. So we're going to be doing one single crochet. And then again, another single crochet. And in the next one, two single crochets. One and two. Again, one single crochet. Again, one single crochet, and in the next one, two single crochets. And at the end of this, you should have a stitch count of 24. So two and two. two and then we're on our last one here so we can pull that out pull that out in the last one you should need to do two stitches to make 24. okay so we're going to put our stitch marker right back here okay and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do three and two. So we're going to go into our next space and do one single crochet into the next one single crochet into the next one single crochet. That's three. And in the next one, we're going to put two, one and two. And then we're going to again do three, one, two, three single crochets, and then two in the same spot, one, and two okay and you should have a stitch count of 30. one two and three and then two one and two one two and three and then two one and two and then again one two and three and one two and two and three and now we're in our last one here. Remember in our last one, we should have two, okay? We're gonna put our stitch marker back. And again, we should have 30 now, okay? 
And now you're going to do five rounds. You're going to do five rounds of 30, which means you can go around and round and round five times if you want, or you can single crochet 150. Okay, that's what you're going to need to do for this. And my phone is going dead, so if you can give me just a minute, I'm going to plug in. Hey, babe. Okay, thank goodness my hub's home. <laughs> He's going to get the charger. For me, um, these will eat your battery. Um, it'll eat up your battery. Anyway, so you're going to do 150 single crochet. Thank you so much, baby. Okay, and now we're trying to get all this set. Hopefully, this will work. Okay, it's charging. Okay, give me just a second. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Let's see. I think that's working. Okay, so again, you're going to have um, 150 single crochets. So sorry about that. Having major technical issues today the video camera is falling my hands are going numb everything's going good anyway we're still making a bunny and it's still going to be fabulous so while i've been yakking i hope you've been able to do some of your 150 single crochets but we're going to move on and i'm going to show you what it looks like after you do your 150 single crochets so after you get done doing that this is what it'll look like okay so we're going to move on from here so after you do that, you're going to go back into decreasing, okay? So, because um, we increased before, and now we've got to make it smaller, so we're going to decrease. So what we're going to do now, now that we've got our um, five rounds of 30, or 150 single crochets, is we're going to do three single crochets and two together. So we're going to do one, two, and three. And then we're going to go in, pull up. Go in, pull up, and go through all three, our two together. Okay, then we're going to go into our next one, do one, two, and three, and then two together. And then one, two, and three, and then two together. You're just going to keep doing that all the way around. Two, three, and then two together. One, two, and three. And then we're on our last two. So we're going to do our two together. Just like that. Okay? And then we're going to put our stitch marker back where it needs to go. Okay, and after you do that, the three and the two together, you should have a stitch count of 24. And now what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet 24 all the way around. No decreases, no increases, just single crochets all the way around for a count of 24. All the way till you get back to your stitch marker. So you just go around for one single crochet. You give me just a second because now um, my stuff is trying, my yarn is trying to get uh, tangled up together. So 
because we need everything to happen in one video. <laughs> Now we're on our last one, which means we're crochets. So we are going to put our stitch marker back in. And now we're going to move on to our next decrease, which is two and two together. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to single crochet two, and then we're going to do two together. So we're going to go right into our next place and do one, and into the next two, and then two together. And we're going to keep doing that all the way around one and two and then two together one and two two together By the end of this, you should have a stitch count of 18. Okay, so I'm back to my last two, and I know I need to do two together. And then I'm going to put my stitch marker right back. Where it needs to go. Okay, so we've got our 18 now. And so Now we're going to do one single crochet. Now we're going to do one single crochet all around of 18. So one single crochet. And again, I'm just trying to keep my stitches as tight as I can. So we've got a single crochet of 18. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do one and two for a stitch count of 12. So we're going to do one single crochet and then two together. And then one single crochet and two together. Then again, one and then two together. And that should leave you with a count of 12. So one, two together. One and two together. And then one. And then I have to take my stitch marker out and my last two together here. And then I'll put my stitch marker back in. And again, right now I should have a stitch count of 12. Okay. 
And right now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stuff my body now. So I'm going to make sure that I leave my stitch marker in. I pull enough yarn out. Okay. It may seem weird that the body is so small for the head, but that's kind of the way the, the pattern, the pattern I made is supposed to be. Um, as if you've seen the bunny in the pictures, then you know the head is quite large, but it all turns out to look really good. So again, I'm just pulling all my stuffing apart and I'm just pressing it right down into the body. about that guys <laughs> but you gotta pull it apart so it doesn't look all bumpy in there so again I'm just doing just like I did with the head I'm just moving it all around I'm knocking the camera over <laughs> so you know I want to make sure that it's stuffed really well so I'm gonna put some more in there just gonna stuff that all in there and then I'm gonna move my fingers around make sure that it and um, I see where it's coming up a little bit so I know that I, I think I've stuffed it enough okay and that's what it should look like so I'm gonna put my hook right, right back in and pull this down. okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make the neck so I'm going to actually increase now um, because there is a little bit of a neck and then we're going to stuff that a little bit. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do one and two single crochets as an increase. So now we're going to do one single crochet. And then I'm going to tighten it up there. And then the next we're going to do two single crochets. Okay. And the next we're going to do one single crochet and the next we're going to do two single crochets sorry if i was off camera there and the next one single crochet and the next two single crochets so we're doing that all the way around and we should have a count of 18. And again, we're increasing now because we need to make the neck of the rabbit. So one and two all the way around. One single crochet and then the next one, two single crochets. So now we're going to put our stitch marker right back where it was. Okay, now we've got 18. And now what we're going to do is two and two to get a stitch count of 24. So we're going to do one single crochet, one single crochet, and then two in the next spot. And in the next one, one, and the next one, two, and the next one, two in the same spot, the same stitch. Again, one, one, and two. And by the end of this, you should have 24. One and two. Just trying to make our way back to our stitch marker here.
And so now you should have 24 and that's what it should look like. Your neck and it's going to start flaring out a little bit and that's normal. That's exactly what it should look like. And now we're going to our last round. We're going to do one single crochet of 24 all the way around. So we're just going to do one single crochet all the way around and this will be our last round. Okay. So we're just going to do a round of single crochets. And I'm going to try to go kind of quick here because I want to show you how to stuff it the rest of the way. And um, because we did such um, an increased round that went kind of quick, um, it wasn't like a gradual increase. It was just a pretty quick increase after decreasing. The stitches look a little bit smaller, so they're kind of hard to find. But just look as you go around, and you should see them all. But you do want 24. Okay, so we're on our last one. We're going to pull that out. Okay, and on this, on the body, you want to leave a good deal of yarn when you cut off um, because you're going to be using that to sew onto the head. So sorry, guys. So um, you're going to want to, like I said, leave a lot of yarn, and then you're going to just, you know, do one single crochet and pull it through just like that and that's what it should look like okay now we're going to put some more stuffing into the neck area so again you're just going to tear it you know like you're supposed to do and then you're just going to push it in um, this is left open and I'm going to show you why in just a minute you're not really closing it off you're leaving it open um, In this pattern I created, I created it to also did the feet and arms the same way. Um, and it just has a better look to it than closing it off and it's easy to sew on to. So I've um, stuffed my neck as much as I feel like it needs. And I want to show you real quick, this is how it would go. Okay, First of all, I would sew this in here. And then I would place this just like this. And that's how it would look. Let me see if I can, okay. So you would, you know, you would shape this the way you want it. Stuff this in here, just like that. And then this would be placed just on this and you would use this right here to sew your head onto the body, okay? And that's what exactly I did for my Easter Bunny. Um, and I was hoping to do the whole thing today, but my hands are really hurting me. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, yeah, they're just totally, um, and cooperative. So what I'm going to do is y'all work on the head and the body. Y'all work on the head and body. I'm going to come back hopefully um, tomorrow Sunday and I know people are usually at church or busy with their families. So I'm going to come back probably Monday and show you how to do the ears, the hands, and the feet. Um, and they really are, they don't take quite as long. These are the biggest parts of this rabbit. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to do those on Monday. So thank you so much for watching and I'm sorry I had to end it early. Um, but yeah, my hands are hurting very badly. Um, but thanks a bunch. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on Monday to finish this rabbit. And then probably on Tuesday, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to put the whole wreath together, um, and how to make the flower. So thanks a bunch and have a great Saturday guys. Bye-bye. Happy crocheting.